ਲੈਕਚਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੁੜੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਮਹਿਮਾਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਸੋਤਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਅੱਜ ਵੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਾਣਦੇ ਹੋ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਹਰ ਮਹੀਨੇ ਦੋ ਫੰਕਸ਼ਨ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਪੈਂਡੈਮਿਕ ਦੀ ਵਜ੍ਹਾ ਨਾਲ ਆਨਲਾਈਨ ਹੋ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਦੋਨੋਂ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਨਾਲ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਵੀ ਕੀਤੀ ਕਿ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਹਾਈਬ੍ਰਿਡ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਵੇ ਪਰ ਫਿਰ ਦੁਬਾਰਾ ਕਰੋਨਾ ਦੀ ਆਮਦ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਅਸੀਂ ਫਿਰ ਆਨਲਾਈਨ ਮੋਡ ਦੇ ਤੇ ਹੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਨੂੰ ਫਿਰ ਲਿਮਿਟ ਕਰਨਾ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਪੈ ਰਿਹਾ ਇੱਕ ਫੰਕਸ਼ਨ ਸਾਡਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹਰ ਮਹੀਨੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਇੱਕ ਪੁਸਤਕ ਤੇ ਚਰਚਾ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਔਰ ਉਹ ਲਗਾਤਾਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਹਰ ਮਹੀਨੇ ਭਾਵੇਂ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਲਾਕਡਾਊਨ ਵੀ ਰਿਹਾ ਤਾਂ ਵੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਰਹੇ ਔਰ ਦੂਸਰਾ ਜੋ ਲੈਕਚਰ ਸੀਰੀਜ਼ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੋਈ ਸੀ 2 ਸਾਲ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਉਹ ਲੈਕਚਰ ਸੀਰੀਜ਼ ਸਾਡੀ ਲਗਾਤਾਰ ਨਿਰੰਤਰ ਚੱਲ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਦੋ ਸਾਲ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦੇ 550 ਸਾਲਾਂ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਪੁਰਬ ਦੇ ਮੌਕੇ ਤੇ ਉਹ 12 ਲੈਕਚਰ ਕੀਤੇ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਤੇਗ ਬਹਾਦਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦੇ 350 400 ਸਾਲਾਂ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਪੁਰਬ ਦੇ ਮੌਕੇ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕੀਤੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਇੱਕ ਵੱਖਰੀ ਵੱਖਰਾ ਰੰਗ ਦੇਣ ਦੀ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕੀਤੀ ਕਿ ਸਿਰਫ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਹੀ ਲੈਕਚਰ ਦਾ ਕਰਵਾਈ ਜਾਣ ਸਗੋਂ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਨਾਲ ਜੁੜੀਆਂ ਹੋਈਆਂ ਸ਼ਖਸੀਅਤਾਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਜੁੜੇ ਹੋਏ ਸ਼ਹੀਦਾਂ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਸਗੀਆਂ ਸਾਥੀਆਂ ਦੀ ਕੰਟਰੀਬਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਲਈ ਉਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਹਾਈਲਾਈਟ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰੀਏ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਸਾਡੇ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਵੀ ਆਈਟਿੰਗਸ ਆਈਆਂ ਜਾਂ ਸਿੱਖ ਇਤਿਹਾਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਬਹੁਤ ਇਗਨੋਰ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਸੀ ਜਿਹਨੂੰ ਭਾਈ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸਦਨ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਾਈ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਸ਼ਖਸੀਅਤਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਭਾਈ ਜਾਤਾ ਜੀ ਆ ਭਾਈ ਦਿਆਲਾ ਜੀ ਹੈ ਭਾਈ ਮਤੀ ਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਹੈ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਕੋਰ ਫਰੰਟ ਤੇ ਲਿਆਦਾ ਜਾਵੇ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਕੁਰਬਾਨੀਆਂ ਵੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਵਿੱਚ ਯੂਨੀਕ ਸੀ ਵਿਲੱਖਣ ਸੀ ਪਰ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੀ ਮਿਸਾਲ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿਤੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਿਲਦੀ ਸੋ ਅੱਜ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਲੈਕਚਰ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਉਸੇ ਲੜੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਅਸੀਂ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਨਾਲ ਸੰਬੰਧਿਤ ਪੰਜਾਬੀਅਤ ਨਾਲ ਸੰਬੰਧਿਤ ਵੱਖਰੇ ਵੱਖਰੇ ਸਬਜੈਕਟਸ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਲੈਕਚਰ ਕਰਵਾਉਣੇ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕੀਤੇ ਜੋ ਅੱਜ ਦਾ ਲੈਕਚਰ ਹੈ ਕੰਟਰੀਬਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਅਕਾਲੀਸ ਟੂ ਦੀ ਫਰੀਡਮ ਮੂਵਮੈਂਟ ਇਹ ਬੜਾ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਲੈਕਚਰ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਸਾਨੂੰ 1920 ਵਿੱਚ ਜਦੋਂ ਅਕਾਲੀ ਦਲ ਬਣਿਆ ਉਦੋਂ ਤੋਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਅੱਜ ਤੱਕ ਅਕਾਲੀ ਦਲ ਦੇ ਇਤਿਹਾਸ ਦਾ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗੇਗਾ ਜੋ ਅਕਾਲੀ ਦਲ ਦੀਆਂ ਸ਼ਾਨਦਾਰ ਪਰੰਪਰਾਵਾਂ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਉਹਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗੇਗਾ ਔਰ ਉਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਦੀ ਨਾਲ ਜਦੋਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਅੱਜ ਤੱਕ ਵੇਖਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਅਕਾਲੀ ਦਲ ਦੀ ਹਿਸਟਰੀ ਨੂੰ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੋ ਕੁਝ ਵੀ ਅੱਗੇ ਵਾਪਰਿਆ ਉਹਦੇ ਵੱਲ ਵੀ ਕੁਝ ਨਾ ਕੁਝ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਸੰਕੇਤ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਮਿਲਣਗੇ ਔਰ ਸਾਡੇ ਨੂੰ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਸਾਡੇ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਲੈਕਚਰ ਨੂੰ ਚੇਅਰ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਸਰਦਾਰ ਜਤਿੰਦਰ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਹੋਰਾਂ ਨੇ ਸਹਿਮਤੀ ਪ੍ਰਗਟ ਕੀਤੀ ਉਹ ਸਾਡੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਰ ਆਏ ਨੇ ਮੈਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਜੀ ਆਇਆ ਆਖਦਾ ਸਰਦਾਰ ਜਤਿੰਦਰ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਹੋਰਾਂ ਬਾਰੇ ਮੈਂ ਦੱਸ ਦਿਆਂ ਕਿ ਸਾਡੇ ਭਾਈ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਸਹਿ ਸਦਨ ਦੇ ਸੀਨੀਅਰ ਵਾਈਸ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੀਡੈਂਟ ਵੀ ਨੇ ਆਈਐਸ ਅਫਸਰ 1983 ਬੈਚ ਦੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਸੀਨੀਅਰ ਬਿਊਰੋਕ੍ਰੈਟ ਨੇ ਦੇਸ਼ ਦੇ ਅਸਾਮ ਕਾਡਰ ਦੇ ਆਈ ਅਫਸਰ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਉਹ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਅਨ ਸਿੰਧ ਮੈਕ ਦੇ ਬੜਾ ਲੰਬਾ ਅਰਸਾ ਚੇਅਰਮੈਨ ਦੇ ਔਰ ਯੂਨੀਅਨ ਆਫ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਵਿੱਚ ਭਾਰਤ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਬ
ਬਹੁਤ ਪ੍ਰਬੁੱਧ ਵਿਦਵਾਨ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਗੁਦਾਨਕ ਫਾਊਂਡੇਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਟਰ ਰਹੇ ਨੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਕਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਫਾਰ ਬਨੋਰਟੀ ਐਜੂਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਇੰਸਟੀਚਿਊਟਸ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਮੈਂਬਰ ਰਹੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਵੱਡੀ ਪੋਸਟ ਉਹਦੀ ਭਾਰਤ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਪਟਿਆਲਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਆਫ ਐਮੀਨੈਂਸ ਰਹੇ ਤੇ ਅੱਜ ਕੱਲ ਲੋਕ ਭਾਈ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਸੈਸਦ ਨੂੰ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਚਲਾ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਭਾਈ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਸੈਸਦ ਜਦੋਂ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਮਹਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਜੁਆਇਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਦਾ ਸਦਨ ਤੇ ਅੱਜ ਦਾ ਸਦਨ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਿਜ਼ੀਬਲ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਸ ਨਜ਼ਰ ਆਏਗਾ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਹੁਣ ਸਦਨ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਮਹਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਹੋਰਾਂ ਦੀ ਅਗਵਾਈ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਅਕੈਡਮਿਕ ਸਰਗਰਮੀਆਂ ਦਾ ਅਕੈਡਮਿਕ ਐਕਟੀਵਿਟੀਆਂ ਦਾ ਦਿੱਲੀ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਵੱਡਾ ਕੇਂਦਰ ਇਸ ਲਈ ਬਣ ਕੇ ਉਧਰ ਆਓ ਤੋ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਜੋ ਕੰਟਰੀਬਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਉਹਦੀ ਵਜ੍ਹਾ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਵੀ ਬਹੁਤ-ਬਹੁਤ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਕਿ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਨੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣਾ ਲੈਕਚਰ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਕਰਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਚਾਹਾਂਗੇ ਕਿ ਸਰਦਾਰ ਜਤਿੰਦਰ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਹੋਣੀ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਕੁਝ ਆਪਣੇ ਕੇਅਰਮੈਨ ਵਜੋਂ ਇਸ ਸਭਾਪਤੀ ਵਜੋਂ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਸਮਾਗਮ ਦੇ ਆਪਣੀ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਕੋਈ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਮਹਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਹੋਰਾਂ ਬਾਰੇ ਜਾਂ ਸਲੈਕਚਰ ਬਾਰੇ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਵੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਨੀ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਕਰਨ ਸਰਦਾਰ ਜਤਿੰਦਰ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਫਾਰ ਵੈਰੀ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਵਰਡਸ ਇਨ ਫੈਕਟ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਬੀਨ ਅ ਸੋਰਸ ਆਫ ਇਨਕਰੇਜਮੈਂਟ ਫਾਰ ਅਸ ਐਟ ਦੀ ਆਊਟਸਾਈਡ ਆਈ ਐਕਸਪ੍ਰੈਸ ਮਾਈ ਡੀਪੈਸਟ ਗ੍ਰੈਟੀਟਿਊਡ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਨੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਇੰਸਟੀਚਿਊਟ ਆਫ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਸਟੱਡੀਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਪਾਈ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਤੇ ਸਦਨ ਫਾਰ ਦ ਆਨਰ ਟੂ ਚੇਅਰ ਦਿਸ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਲੈਕਚਰ ਬਾਈ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਮਹਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਅ ਡਿਸਟਿੰਗਿਸ਼ਡ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਆਫ ਐਮੀਨੈਂਸ ਔਨ ਦ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਹਿਸਟਰੀ as an outstanding professor of history dr prasen ji needs no introduction in the national and international academic scholarly and intellectual forums his highly acclaimed and uh, widely read and referenced book the akali movement published in 1978 demonstrates the highest standards of rigorous research superb scholarship and brilliant analysis this pioneering work on the contribution of the akali movement in the freedom struggle is indeed a milestone among other things the akali movement immensely contributed to the freedom struggle in propagating the principles and practice of non violent non cooperation in the struggle against the british empire and also established the community controlled with democratic management of the sikh gurdwaras from the mid 1920s onward in this regard i may like to refer to the monumental history book by eminent professor bipin chandar titled india's struggle for freedom 1987 to 1947 <laughs> it fills me with deep pride and there can't be a profounder recognition of the highly celebrated work of dr mahendra singh ji in this uh, most authentic account of freedom struggle professor bipin chandra quotes dr mahendra singh at page 216 to 116 and i quote from this monumental work which has been a kind of landmark <laughs> the analysis of freedom struggle in the last uh, more than two decades i am quoting from page 216 of this book india's struggle struggle for freedom i quote apart from its own achievement the akali movement made a massive contribution to the political development of punjab it awakened the punjab peasantry as mahinder singh the historian of the akali movement has pointed out it was only during the akali movement that the pro british feudal leadership of the six was replaced by educated middle class nationalists and the rural and urban classes united on a common platform during the two pronged akali struggle this movement was also a model of a movement on a religious issue which was utterly non communal communal to further quote mahinder it was this idea of liberation of the country from a foreign government that united all sections of the sikh community and brought the hindus the muslims and the sikh of the province into the fold of the akali movement 
the akali movement also awakened the people of the princely states of punjab to political consciousness and political activity unquote now this is the kind of pride which fills all of us that uh, <coughs> professor dipak sundar in his monumental work on freedom struggle recognizes and cites the work of eminent professor professor mahinder singh ji i will not stand longer between uh, dr mahinder singh ji because all of us are looking forward to this a uh, most outstanding historian on punjab studies and uh, this is a very important lecture in the series and it has abundant relevance for uh, the contemporary times so with these words i would request dr mendar singh ji to kindly uh, present his uh, lecture for today thank you uh, i'm thankful to my colleague dr veer singh for persuading me to give this lecture normally i was diffident about talking from my own institute and the kind words used by the chairman of the function sir jitendra beer singh makes me conscious of my limitations more than ever before i am reminded of the british civil servants they were very busy they used to do a lot of work but read and write so jitender beer singh reminded me of the tradition of british civil servants or dr m s randhawa who will not miss reading a good book so we are honored that such a distinguished civil servant and scholar has agreed to chair this lecture so friends as you know india is celebrating 75 years of its independence punjab played a major role in country's freedom but somehow the britishers popularized myths of the loyalty of punjab to the raj especially that of the sikh community which was a myth popularized by the britishers so this myth myth needs to be demolished so for this purpose national institute of punjab studies decided to arrange lectures first lecture was delivered by professor k l tuteja followed by a lecture by mridura mukherji on pagdi sambhal jatta pagdi sambhal hai tera lut gaya maal hai and then prof harish puri who know the contribution of the gadrites normally who go to us to make money here were the great sikh patriots who i mean returned and spent all the money in financing the freedom movement of india not much is known about them now let me come to the topic uh, my dilemma is that having worked for 5 years on a subject and having written these two books which most of you have seen uh, i'm at a loss to decide how to finish in 45 to 50 minutes but i'll try the first question why i call it the akali movement and not the gurdwara reform movement its answer again should come from bipin chandra in 1968 i shifted to khalsa college delhi and got myself registered for a phd with the history department i didn't know who bipin chandra was so went for interview and i suggested my topic triangular politics that is hindu muslim and sikh politics in punjab this one little line a kali struggle against british imperialism so he being a marxist to him this line struggle against imperialism made a big appeal to him he says okay out i thought without long interview okay out means i'm rejected and i get a letter saying beta you have to work with me and you have to know prove how was it a powerful struggle against british imperialism i posed a difficulty i said this much of material available he said don't worry so luckily in those days there was something called indian council of historical research he put me on to professor nurul hasan i went to uk and today i have 24 kg of material xerox and i'm looking for a young scholar to continue my work so that is one how this became the akali movement and not the gurdwara reform movement 
my second argument is the movement started with reform of babe di bear sial court then on 12th october 1920 the khalsa biradri entered the golden temple and the akal takht the priests refused to accept their prasad you'll be surprised to know though in sikhism who do not believe in caste system but the so called dalits lokas they were not allowed to carry their prasad they had to carry a higher class attended to carry their prasad so against this the professors of khalsa college protested and they made a khalsa biradri and took them to golden temple and akal takht the priests of akal takht ran away from duty and they took over the um, holy book which was unattended the south they took control and formed their temporary committee to manage the two major shrines that is the golden temple and the akal takht so this started on 12th of october 1920 by 23rd august 1921 almost all historic gurdwaras had come under akali control now next four years what was this no gurdwara was to be reformed what were they doing because there is something called the role of leadership slide who were the leaders uh prominent three i like to mention uh, this is next please three prominent leaders a master tara singh tejas singh samundri and baba khadra singh so what is the difference between those past leaders and the present leaders i am reminded of a popular line by master tara singh he used to say main mara te panth jeeve now this has been reversed panth mare te meri leadership jeeve this is what has happened so that is the contrast and there are three very distinct features of the past movement compared to present akali struggle one it was totally non violent from the very beginning there was some violence but this violence was this on you know this something called babar galis they believed in violent methods so kali made it clear that who do not believe who disown them on the contrast when in punjab there was violent movement the leadership didn't try to disown didn't have the courage didn't have the wisdom so that is the contrast secondly they knew the role of media newspapers and i was surprised when i was told in the sun times the india's biggest newspaper today was started by the akaris i'm showing you a slide this is from the autobiography of k m panikar he writes a newspaper is born uh, the gadrite sent some money and sir mangal singh gill who was tehsildar and it was a big job in those days he resigned his position and became the first editor of the hindustan times it was then a weekly paper and you know his son was avtar singh gill petroleum secretary then they started akali in urdu urdu was very popular in those days and akali te pardesi in punjabi they were wise enough to win over the sport of the tribune is a man called ruchi ramsani he was their great admirer so he was a trustee of the tribune now imagine back with so many paper newspapers they are all supporting the akali movement today there are not very many people who support our cause when we launch a morcha i would get lots and lot of criticism enemies and we do not make friends this needs to be studied and debated third is the role of national leaders now we know pandit madan mohan malviya mahatma gandhi jawahar nehru all became their supporters and one great friend that they had was c f andrews i'll talk about him later there was a newspaper which was the national law which also supported the akalis now what led to the start of the movement we all know A resentment among the Punjabi peasantry started with 
three colonial bills, which were taken back by the then Viceroy. And then after that, there was Jalemala Bagh tragedy. Now, when Jalemala Bagh tragedy, everyone was criticizing the perpetrator of the crime, Arur Singh, the government appointed manager of the Golden Temple, invited the general to Akal Takat and offered him a sropa. This is a very interesting account that I've mentioned here. Sahib, they said, you must become a Sikh, even as Nicholson Sahib became a Sikh. Nicholson was the man who helped in suppressing the mutiny. And he was again also honored in Golden Temple. Golden Temple was taken over by the Britishers after the annexation of Punjab. And it was misused to support the Britishers and to condemn the national movement. The general thanked them for the honor, but he objected that he could not, as British officer, let his hair grow long. A rule sing laughed, who let you off the long hair, he said. General Dyer offered another objection, but I cannot give up smoking. That you must do, said Arur Singh. No, said the general. I'm very sorry, but I cannot give up smoking. The priests conceded. We will let you give it up gradually. That I promise you, said the general, at the rate of one cigarette a year. Look at the mockery. Kinna vada mazak si sikhi da. Ke mein wahalte hi vada ni karne koi gal ni. Par mein cigarette bhi ni ni chadanga. Phir yun ke tu sikha, guru da sikha, sarupa ditta gaya. Te din al vada vada protest hoya. Te akali movement jari hai. Dej badi jaan pe hi logan rod aya. And the movement started. Now, in next five minutes or 10 minutes, I'll talk about the movement proper. As I mentioned earlier, movement started in a very peaceful manner with the reform of Gurdwara Babi Di Bair Sialkot. It was here that Baba Khare Singh who discovered Baba Khare Singh, the Mahand died without leaving his successor and his widow became the owner. Six protested, they said, we must have a Sikh manager of the Gurdwara. So peaceful agitation and Gurdwara came under the Akali control. So reform started with Gurdwara Babi Dibair. Initiative was taken by Baba Kharak Singh. Next. Now, what brought the Akalis on the national scene was the Nankana Sahib tragedy. Next. Next. Yeah. <coughs> Nankana, as we all know, is a sacred place where Guru Nanak, the founder, was born. It was under the control of a man called Narayan Das, the Mahan. It had largest income because when Maharaja Ranjit Singh took over control of Punjab, he attached lands to all Gurdwaras. And Nankana Sahib and the biggest land because of two reasons. First, Rai Bular gave land and Ranjit Singh gave big endowment. So it had a lot of income, but its manager, Arur Singh was, I'm sorry, its manager, Mahant Narayan Das was misusing it. This is a gentleman called Lachman Singh Tarawali. Imagine the courage of the man. He took a jatha of 130 people to go and peacefully pray. They were not carrying any weapons or arms except small six-inch kirpan, which even now the government allows you can wear a six-inch small kirpan. It can't be used to create violence. So he was the leader. When he was proceeding to Nankana Sahib, on the way, he was told, please don't proceed because Mant has hired the gundas. Mant has hired the people, butchers, Mahanta has stored a lot of kerosene and you should stop. And he was a devout Sikh. Lachman Singh said, no, I have offered Ardas. Now imagine, compared to Lachman Singh, the recent leaders twice went on fast unto death and broke the fast without keeping their promise. Lachman Singh Dariwal, you have seen his paintings, sturdy, strong man. And he was barely 
injured, later on cut to pieces, tied to a giant tree. I'll show you the picture of the giant tree. Yes, giant tree. This is the historic giant tree with which half killed bodies, damaged bodies, injured bodies of the Akali reformers were tied, kerosene poured on, poured on them, and they were buried, they were killed, they were mercilessly. So this is how the peaceful Akali movement became a national movement because it attracted attention of all the national leaders. Yes, next. Yes, stop here. Mahatma Gandhi went to Nankana Sahib on 3rd of March, 1921 to express sympathy with the Akali martyrs. Now, one thing one should know, Gandhi was a very, very clever politician or maybe leader. Uh, earlier, when he started non-cooperation movement, he took up three issues to agitate. One was rioting the Punjab wrongs, that is the Jalam al tragedy. Second was restoring the Khalifa in Turkey to his Gaddi. And third was Swaraj within one year. We all know Khalifa was not restored, who did not get freedom in 1921, and Swaraj was not given to us. Punjab wrongs were not righted. But uh, this is how Kushwan Singh compares. He said, look at the population of the six, less than 2%, and the number of people who participated in the movement number of people who face martyrdom is much larger. And he says, compared to Akali's, larger movement of non-cooperation is but a pale imitation. This is what Khushwan Singh writes in his forward to Kalash Gulati's book, Akali's Past and Present. Now, a few words from the speech that Mahatma Gandhi made in Nankana Sahib, in Hindustani. I'm reading their English translation. Gandhi said, the news of Nankana was so staggering that I would not believe it without confirmation. Later, in a message to the Sikhs and Lord, the Mahatma said, and I quote, everything I saw and heard points to a second edition of diarism, more barbarous, more calculated, and more finished than the diarism of Jalalabad. Bhag. So this is how this Akali struggle became part of the larger movement of non-cooperation. Uh, Gandhi needed the Akalis because they had given the proof that they can remain non-violent. And Gandhi used to say, non-violence is a weapon of the strong, not the weak. Weak is a, has to be non-violent. And then there are stories about brave Jat Sikhs Prithipal Singh, six feet tall, sturdy, and one man, he could uh, throw two small policemen out with his. But he said, no, I've taken a vow. And he was beaten to death by the two short stretched policemen. So that was his commitment to the violence. Now, what I wanted to emphasize was Nankana tragedy broadened the scope of the Akali movement. It attracted them in the national movement, and then they started something called Guru Ka Bhag. But before that, I need to mention one more incident. <coughs> when the Akalis joined the non-cooperation movement, the government got scared. We all know in the Golden Temple, above the Darshini Jodi is a Tosha Khana, which has valuable things. Tosha, tosha Khana had a lot of valuable things, are given by Maharaj Ranjit Singh to the Golden Temple. The government thought Akali leaders will take control of those precious relics and gold, sell it, and use it to finance their movement. So they took keys of the Tosha Khana from the manager of the Golden Temple. And Akali started agitation, which is known as Chabiyanda Morcha, agitation over the keys affair. They said, anyone who discusses this issue will be arrested. They started discussing in all villages. You know the Jat character, if the villagers, you know, I must mention that in the Akali movement, about 66% were the Jat Sikh peasants. 
So once the development you have seen in this uh, recent uh, agitation of the peasants on the Delhi border, once they decide, they don't think of the consequences. So that was the strong point of the Kali movement. The peasantry joined a large number and they defied the government. They started discussing the keys affair. They were arrested. And finally, they decided they returned the keys of the Tosha Khana to Baba Khada Singh on a date and time of Baba's convenience, not deputy commissioner's convenience. He went with the folded hands and offered the keys of the Tosha Khana to Baba Khada Singh, who was then the president of the SGPC. Now, if we just pause and think, what happened? Gandhi sent a telegram to Baba Khada Singh. This telegram is still preserved. First battle of India's freedom won. Congratulations. This was a victory. I mean, small people, small community defeated the powerful British government. And now there was a loss of prestige. No government tolerates loss of its prestige as has happened in the Kisan Morcha. Now they were of restoring their prestige, what they did was uh, there's a place called Guru Kabag, associated with Guru Tegh Bahadur. What the Kalis were doing was uh, taking dry wood and using them in Guru Ka Langar. They asked the Mahant of Guru Kabag to launch a complaint with the police. Complaint is theft. Now, can you call it a theft? A choriya? So, who was then the deputy commissioner, and they were in the collection of his daughter. She gave me the whole album, which I deposited with the Nehru Memorial Museum and Library because they can maintain temperature and control, and they can give you copy for five rupees. Here you have seen Mother Mohan Malviya just back. Mother Mohan Malviya talking to Akali leaders. All national leaders, they were great admirers because Akalis had thrown to the winds the prestige of the British government. And then started the Guru Ka Bhag Morcha, wherein they used new tactics to finish, defeat the Akalis. Akali Jatha will go to the Akal Takat, offer prayer that they remain non-violent, and then proceed. They sit and do part. And there's a man called, police officer called J.M. B.T. B.T. taught the policeman how to use a lati. He, he published a pamphlet, how to use lati on the private parts of the sick people so that they really get pain. And this, something interesting happened, as I mentioned earlier, three friends of the sick community. Can you show the slide? Yeah. <laughs> The top, you see this C.F. Andrews. He was called Dina Mandu, friend of the people. He went there, saw the meeting, met the governor of Punjab. He was a genuine Christian. He says, Edward, you talk of one Christ being crucified. You haven't seen him, but I've seen hundreds of Christ being crucified in Guru Kabag before my merry eyes, with my eyes. Are you still a Christian? And minded, he was a genuine Christian, Edward McElligan. He immediately took his car, went to Guru Kabag, ordered beating, stop beating. But now the technical issue was, who is the owner of Guru Kabag? This great man called Sir Gangaram. There's a hospital after him. He says, I end the dispute, he purchased the land. He says, this is my land. I respect the Sikhs. They can cut any amount of wood, no theft case to be listed. And then there's a professor, Ruchi Ramsani, 
Imagine he was a great friend of the Sikh community, trustee of the Tribune. He used to sleep in the Gurdwara in Golden Temple, write communique with his own hand, write communiques, and make cycle style copies, send it to the editors of the newspapers. In British days, Statesman was the newspaper which all British officers read. So this report secretly, he was doing secret work for the Sikh friends. Secret communiques of Ruchi Ramsani were published in the Statesman and the government got scared. Look, we are doing brutal things and we still call ourselves Christians. This is discovered later on who was the man. The man was Ruchi Ramsani, a great friend of the Sikh community. Now, <coughs> Guru Kabag Morcha ended because of intervention by a great friend called Ruchi Ramsani. But this really broadened the scope of the Akali movement. It was no longer a Sikh movement, no longer a regional movement. It became part of the larger movement of non cooperation. Congress admired them, and Muslim and Sikh leaders and Hindu leaders, they supported them. And interesting thing I discovered during the research in Travancore, Mysore, entry of the Dalits on temples was barred. There were block blockades on the roads. Dalit cannot enter this road. So Mahatma Gandhi took the initiative of taking Dalits into the temple. But the higher caste Swarna Hindus, they refused to serve them food. Can you imagine Akalis went from Golden Temple to uh, South in, to prepare Langar for the Dalits and serve them Langar. This is how uh, this man who has written, Amandeep, who has written this book on Punjab, he has a Carolite wife. He says his son, father in law, told him, Kabete, very difficulty, you have to go to a Sikh temple, they give you shelter to sleep for the night and they offer you food because he knew from the temple entry from this Travon Core state that Akalis serve. Now, next issue. <coughs> I think I'm missing my time. Uh, Akalis, I noticed, they are at their best when they start religious agitation. At their worst, when they talk political negotiations. So they were at their best in the religious hesitation. And then, you know, when success comes, you lose your balance. They thought, now we can defeat the government on every issue, which was wrong. A Maharaja called Riputa Man Singh of Naba, he was deposed. Why deposed? Because the Britishers had a tradition when the Maharaja dies, his successor has to be appointed with the Sanad, the British officers presenting some sword that you are appointed the next Maharaja by the British officer. This is very silly. Son of a Maharaja becomes the next Maharaja. It needs no sanction. But Ripu Daman Singh was Akali minded, Sikh minded. And it is said when there was Nankana tragedy, the Ripu Daman Singh of Naba slept on the floor. He wore black turban and he went without food as a mark of protest against the firing in Nankana. So that was his image. He was taunted by the Britishers as Akali Maharaja. So he was deposed from his throne. Now Akali's launch agitation for restoration of Maharaja of Naba to his Gaddi. Here they were divided whether this is a religious issue or a political issue. And I think we all agree it was not a religious issue. He was punished because he sympathized with the Akalis, but there's no religious violent reform involved in Naba. In any case, they started an agitation. And in the agitation, there's a Gangsar Gurdwara in Jato. There was a Khand part. Maharaja was deposed, sent to Kodai Canal in South India, and an administrator called Winston Johnston was appointed to look after the state affairs. The Akalis launched a morcha. A lot of Jatha started marching to Naba. And it's very interesting 
here in naba the congress started giving support to the akalis when there was agitation agitation started because in support of the maharaja they started marching and in jaito they started a khand part a police sent by the british administrator disturbed the part they removed the holy book from one place to another this means continuous reading continuous reading is stopped it's khand ho gaya a khand part is bang ho gaya so is karke they started back to religion from politics they are back to religion and a lot of jathas from india and even from shanghai they started marching to jato and this is one jatha the picture has been sent to me by our friend amarjit chandan you can see this you can see the picture on the no yes we can see you, yes. you can see the picture now this is a very rare picture and i can't locate who is this bibi bilbir kaur she was carrying a young child in her lap with a firing his son was her son was killed she didn't care he says guru da pana and later on she kept moving even she was killed imagine the dedication of the woman in upholding the dharma or in supporting the akali movement this is a photo courtesy amarjit chandan now this again this firing on innocent jatha of akalis and women istri akali jatha created a lot of protest in india indian national congress decided to send their support they sent three men to naba jawal nehru k santanam and at gidwani to naba jail this is a very very interesting account in a book a biography of nehru by sarpadi gopal and i'll show you this but before you read this i like to tell you very interesting anecdotes now nehru was a legal mind they came to arrest him he says under what clause are you arresting me the policeman who was in the sani he says saab ka order hai kya the clause kehte hai the naba state mein clause nahi padta koi saab hukm deta hai to hum arrest karta hai doctor chutti par jata hai तो मैजिस्ट्रेट डॉक्टर बन जाता है मैजिस्ट्रेट छुट्टी पर जाता है डॉक्टर मैजिस्ट्रेट बन जाता है ये नाबा स्टेट सो नैरो नो क्वेश्चन माय ऑर्डर टू मी इज दैट ऑल ऑफ थ्री यू शुड बी अरेस्टेड व्हाट वाज देयर फॉर देर वाज मैन कॉल दरबारा सिंह मलन दे वेंट टू जैतो रेलवे स्टेशन दे वर न्यू टू दैट प्लेस दे आस दैट सदार हुज अन एट दैट टाइम वेयर इज टिब्बी साहेब this darbar singh balan said that is to be sahib that was that is to be sahib that's all even he was arrested because he helped the congress leaders to reach to be sahib very interesting account is in that autobiography of jawal nehru he says for the first time i saw what a jail is when earlier he was arrested he used to be sent to almora and other hill station during summer given good fruit to eat uh, provided medical aid and given newspapers to read now here they arrested him tied him with santanam two of them tied together with chains and given him blankets with full, with full of insects and to change his side he needed permission of the other partner he argued a lot of things this is no it's a naba state no legal argument or who have been ordered to arrest you put you in the ordinary jail and tie to your other friend so this is in the jail he wrote a lengthy statement which is preserved in original in the nehru museum hopefully it still is and i got it copied i like to read the last para and i read i rejoice that i am being tried for a cause which the sikhs have made their own i was in jail when the guru ka bag struggle was gallantly fought and won by the six i marveled at the courage and sacrifice of the akalis and wished that i could be given an opportunity of showing my deep admiration of them 
by some form of service that opportunity has not been given to me and i earnestly hope that i shall prove worthy of their high tradition and fine courage sat sri akal jawahar nehru 25th september 1923 central naba it's 11:30 at night this is very emotional statement but now the consequences you know jawahar lal was son of motilal not an ordinary man when father learned that my son has gone to a real jail he was panicking so he went to naba jato advised him not to submit the statement because this will land him into trouble he is a genuine admirer of the akalis who are anti state so a fresh statement was issued somehow he says my father managed my and my colleagues released three of them that is santhanam gidwani and jawal nehru now he writes in his autobiography what happened to poor darbar singh whose only fault was that we asked where is tibi sir he said that is tibi sir that's all what happened to darbar singh mother nobody knows he remained in jail for many years so this is how people thought of the akali movement at that time now question was again government is caught on a bad foot how do we resolve uh we all know there are moderate six there are militant six what has happened and yeah there are militant six there are compromising six so all types of sikh leaders the so sikh leaders thought now we are caught in a bad shape who do not have resources to fight in naba so let us think of some solution solution was this that instead of one part which has been disturbed they arrange one under one account parts and after that they release all the prisoners but prisoners were very very intelligent people because they had intelligent leadership like tara singh khare singh tejas sundri sardur singh kubishan he said no we will leave only when we get a bill passed at our condition the bill that suits and there's something called gurdwara sikh gurdwaras and shrines bill now when i was writing my book on the akali movement i felt very proud that sikhs have the rare privilege of electing management of their gurdwaras through adult franchise even sikh women have a right to vote i really felt very happy i admired this now i cry this something very very bad has happened to the sikhs election of the gurdwaras to normal election Now you know what is the malpractice used in assembly election municipal elections same malpractices are used in the gurdwara election where do we go so bill was prepared for managing the gurdwaras it was introduced it was not acceptable to the kalis amendment was made so finally a bill which was acceptable to the kalis it was passed in the punjab legislative assembly and then with this the agitation comes to an end but one comment i like to make before i finish uh the akali movement clearly demonstrated the efficacy of the doctrine of non violence non cooperation when the akalis in punjab were able to by peaceful means dislodge the mans from their hereditary positions in the six lines and the government of punjab from its unreasonable stand akali te pardesi a punjabi newspaper thus summarized success of the movement and i quote english translation the akalis have shown to the indians how a most arrogant oppressive cunning and deceitful bureaucracy can be brought to its knees by means of non violent satyagraha by sacrifices at guru ka bag they have destroyed the prestige of the bureaucracy and raised the dignity of india that is the compliment that the newspaper pays to those who suffered martyrdom in the akali movement and with one observation if the chairman permits alan i think yes please that observation is by 
principal Niranjan Singh. You know, he was younger brother of Master Tara Singh. And he was Gandhiite, interestingly. He writes, he says, Punjabi which to see uh, agitation karke, morche lagake, mantan to kad lea. But jade name man to see election nal bathai ne, ena nuk keme katoge. It's a big question today. How do we throw out these, I think, more than 140 months for controlling the SEPC and some months for controlling other Gurdwaras who deal with them, who can't mention them by name? So this remains the issue. How do we really ensure corruption-free elections and really democratic process of Gurdwara management? That remains a question which needs to be debated, not here today, but on a different platform and in a different manner. Thank you very much. And in case I've made any mistakes, I will be excused. Thank you. Thank you, Raksha. Uh, very impressive and uh, discussed. Raksha, I'm going to talk about this. 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 ਉਸਦੇ ਆਲੇ ਦੁਆਲੇ ਦੀਆਂ ਘਟਨਾਵਾਂ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਨਨਕਾਣਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦਾ ਸਾਕਾ ਹੈ ਜਾਂ ਗੁਰੂ ਕਾ ਬਾਗ ਦਾ ਮੋਰਚਾ ਹੈ ਦੈਟ ਟੇਕਸ ਅਕਾਲੀ ਦਲ ਟੂ ਫੋਰ ਫਰੰਟ ਬਟ ਬਟ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਸਿੰਘ ਸਭਾ ਲੈ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਉਹ ਉਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਤੋਂ 50 ਸਾਲ ਤੋਂ ਚੱਲਦੀ ਸੀ ਵਾਲ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਗੁਰੂ ਕਸ਼ਮ ਭਾਈ ਦਾ ਆਨਸਰ ਫਿਰ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਲ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਸੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਮੂਵਮੈਂਟ ਸੀ ਜਾਂ ਸਿੰਘ ਸਭਾ ਲੈ ਸੀ ਜਾਂ ਬਬਰ ਅਕਾਲੀ ਲੈ ਸੀ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਮੂਵਮੈਂਟਸ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਤੇ ਅਕਾਲੀ ਦਲ ਦੀ ਫਾਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਅਸਰ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਇਹ ਬੜੀ ਆ ਬੜਾ ਠੀਕ ਸਵਾਲ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪੁੱਛਿਆ ਹੈਗਾ ਕਿ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੈ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਵਿੱਚ ਆ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਰਾਜ ਭਾਗ ਆਇਆ ਨਾ ਫਿਰ ਸਿੱਕੀ ਕਮਜ਼ੋਰ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਰਣਜੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਰਾਜ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਿੱਕੀ ਕਮਜ਼ੋਰ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਤਿਲਕ ਲੱਗ ਰਹਾ ਹੈ ਆਲ ਨਾਨ ਸਿਕ ਪ੍ਰੈਕਟਿਸ ਉਹ ਦੇ ਖਿਲਾਫ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਮੂਵਮੈਂਟ ਚੱਲੀ ਨਿਰੰਕਾਰੀ ਮੂਵਮੈਂਟ ਦਿਆਲਦਾਸ ਬਾਬਾ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਨੇ ਤਨ ਨਿਰੰਕਾਰ ਨਿਰੰਕਾਰ ਇਜ਼ ਵਨ ਗੋਡ ਨਾਟ ਦੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜਾ ਫਿਰ ਕੂਕਾ ਮੂਵਮੈਂਟ ਚੱਲੀ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਸਭਾ ਮੂਵਮੈਂਟ ਚੱਲੀ ਸਿੰਘ ਸਭਾ ਮੂਵਮੈਂਟ ਦੀ ਕਮਾਲ ਇਹ ਸੀਗੀ ਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਸਿੱਖ ਰਿਵਾਈਵਲਿਜ਼ਮ ਭਾਈ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਵਾਸ ਬੋਥ ਇ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਕਟ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਮੂਵਮੈਂਟ ਐਂਡ ਆਲਸੋ ਲੀਡਰ ਦਾ ਮੂਵਮੈਂਟ ਉਹਨੇ ਕੀ ਕੀਤਾ ਕਿ ਤਰੀਕਾ ਇਹ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਸਿੱਖਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੇ ਵਿਰਸੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੋੜੋ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਨਾਵਲ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸੀ ਵਿਰਸੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮਾਨ ਆਵੇ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਭਾਈ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜਦੋਂ ਪੜ੍ਹ ਰਹੇ ਸੀ ਆ ਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਸਕੂਲ ਲਾਹੌਰ ਸਾਰੀ ਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਸਕੂਲ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤਸਰ ਤੇ ਪੰਜ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਨੇ ਫੈਸਲਾ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੀ ਅਸਾਈ ਬਣਨਾ ਚਾਹਾਂ ਕਿਉਂ ਕਿਉਂ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਬਾਰੇ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀਗਾ ਸੋ ਇਹ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਚੀਫ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਦੀਵਾਨ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਸੀ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਦੀਵਾਨ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤਸਰ ਫਿਰ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਦੀਵਾਨ ਲਾਹੌਰ ਦੋਨੋਂ ਲੜੇ ਰਹੇ ਆਪਸ ਫਿਰ ਦੋਨੋਂ ਦਾ ਰਲ ਕੇ ਬਣ ਗਿਆ ਚੀਫ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਦੀਵਾਨ ਇੱਕ ਬੜੀ ਵੱਡੀ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤੀ ਸੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਚੀਫ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਦੀਵਾਨ ਦੀ ਉਹ ਸੀ ਹਰੇਕ ਸਾਲ ਸਿੱਖ ਐਜੂਕੇਸ਼ਨਲ ਕਾਨਫਰੰਸ ਕਰਦੇ ਸੀ 1908 ਵਿੱਚ ਪਹਿਲੀ ਕਾਨਫਰੰਸ ਹੋਈ ਲਾਲਪੁਰ ਉਹ ਕਰਦੇ ਕਿਸੇ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਮਜੀਠੀਆ ਲੀਡਰ ਸੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਮਨਾ ਸਤਕਾਰ ਜੋ ਭਾਈ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਖੁਦ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਪਰ ਗਾਈਡ ਕਰਦੇ ਸੀ ਵੱਡੇ ਵੱਡੇ ਚੋਗੇ ਪਾਉਂਦੇ ਸਨ ਨਾ ਵੱਡੇ ਵੱਡੇ ਚੋਲੇ ਪਾਉਂਦੇ ਸੀ ਨਾ ਉਹ ਚੋਲੇ ਅੱਡਦੇ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਭਾਈ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਪਿੰਡ ਸਕੂਲ ਖੋਲਣਾ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਹੈ ਮਾਈ ਭਾਈ ਦਾਨ ਬਾਉ ਕੋਈ ਮਾਈ ਆਪਣਾ ਸੋਨਾ ਲਾ ਕੇ ਦੇ ਕੋਈ ਪੈਸੇ ਦੇਣਗੇ ਤੋ ਤਿੰਨ ਦਿਨ ਹੱਲੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਜਦ ਤੱਕ ਸਕੂਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਣੇ ਪਿੰਡ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿੰਨੀ ਵੱਡੀ ਕੰਟਰੀਬਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਨੈਟਵਰਕ ਆਫ ਸਕੂਲਸ ਉਹ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਨੈਟਵਰਕ ਆਫ ਕਾਲਜਸ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਕਾਲਜ ਦਾ ਮਤਲਬ ਦਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਸੋ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਜਾਗਤੀ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਆਈ ਡਾਂਗਾ ਨਾਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਈ ਅਕਾਲੀਆਂ ਦੀ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਗੱਲ ਬੜੀ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਜਾਗਤੀ ਆਈ ਐਜੂਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਈ ਆ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਕਾਲਜ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਮੈਂ ਜ਼ਿਕਰ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਜਿਹੜੇ 
ਫਿਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਆ ਜਾ ਥੋੜੇ ਕਬਰ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਹੁਣ ਤੇ ਕੁਝ ਕਰਨਾ ਪਏਗਾ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਐਗਰੀ ਵਿਦ ਯੂ ਦੈਟ देयर ਆਰ ਮੈਨੀ ਫੈਕਟਰਸ ਵਿਚ ਪਲੇਡ ਅ ਰੋਲ ਇਨ ਪ੍ਰੀਪੇਰਿੰਗ ਅ ਗਰਾਉਂਡ ਫਾਰ ਗੁਰਦਾਰਾ ਰਿਫਾਰਮ ਕਰਪਸ਼ਨ ਵਰ देयर ਦੇ ਪੁਆਇੰਟਡ ਆਊਟ ਬਟ देयर ਵਾਸ ਨੋ ਮਾਸ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਮਾਸ ਕੋ ਸਟਾਰਟਡ ਵਿਦ ਦੀ ਸਪਰੈਡ ਐਜੂਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਅਖਬਾਰ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਸਮਝਦਾਰ ਦੇ ਸਪਰੈਡ ਦੀ ਮੈਸੇਜ ਆਫ ਰਿਫਾਰਮ ਇੱਕ ਅਖਬਾਰ ਨੇ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਕਿ ਇਸ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਨਾਲ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਖਤਮ ਹੋ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਸਾਡੀ ਆਨਰ ਜਨਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਦੇਖੀ ਹੈ ਪੁੱਛੇ ਕਿ ਪਾਪਾ ਸਿੱਖ ਹੋਣਾ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਆ ਮਿਊਜ਼ੀਅਮ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਆ ਸਿੱਖ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦਾ ਸਿੱਖ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਪਰ ਸਿੱਖ ਤੇਰੇ ਫਾਰਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਲੈਣਗੇ ਤੇ ਬੜੀ ਵੱਡੀ ਗੱਲ ਸੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਦੇਣ ਸੀਗੀ ਕਿ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਖਤਮ ਹੋ ਰਹੀ ਸੀ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਠਲ ਪਾਇਆ ਪਤਤ ਤੋਂ ਨਾ ਠਲ ਪਾਈ ਇਨਫੈਕਟ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਤੇ ਹੁਣ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਦੁਬਾਰਾ ਰਹਿਣੇ ਸਾਂ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਅੱਜ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਕਾਲਜ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤਸਰ ਤੇ ਗਏ ਹੋ ਦੁੱਖ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਉਹ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਕਾਲਜ 95% ਬੱਚੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਬੈਠੇ ਨੇ ਪਤਤ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਸ਼੍ਰੋਮਣੀ ਅਕਾਲੀ ਦਲ ਦੇ ਜਨਰਲ ਸੈਕਟਰੀ ਵੀ ਪਤਤ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਸੋ ਪਤਤ ਤੋਂ ਨਾ ਕੌਣ ਰੁਕੇਗਾ ਚੀਫ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਦੇਵਾਨ ਯੂ نو ਇਮੇਜ ਆਫ ਦੇ ਲੀਡਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਚੀਫ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਦੇਵਾਨ ਅਕਾਲੀ ਦਲ نو uh if if you permit me i am i on no, the chair you have not don't need permission <laughs> uh, just to supplement uh, uh, doc saab's uh, thesis uh, that this uh, sikh renaissance included establishment of uh, uh, premier educational institutions establishment and founding of uh, one of the banks punjab and sindh bank in That's that right. part <laughs> so these were d- different elements of uh, and then uh, to uh, come back to the question of uh, dr veer singh ji i would again uh, seek your indulgence to quote uh, four five lines from vipin chandra because it was not only one movement or one the uh, i i because he says it so beautifully uh, from his introduction he says uh, there were of course many other streams flowing into the swelling uh, river of india's freedom struggle the indian national congress was the mainstream but not the only stream we have discussed many of these streams in this volume and what were those congress peasant and tribal movements the revolutionary terrorists the gadar and home rule movements the akali and the temple reform movement of 1920s the struggle in the legislatures and in the press and the peasant and the working class struggles now the point why i brought it that uh, docs of the this uh, iconic book uh, kali movement is just one high it, it is an analysis and it uh, contextualizes uh, the contribution of a kali movement as a stream contributing to the mainstream for freedom struggle so there were many other streams but probably the focus of your this uh, uh, landmark is on akali movement and uh, this was one of the prominent movements in uh, so uh, he uses the metaphor professor bipin chandra pal uses uh, sorry bipin chandra uses the metaphor of a river and uh, many uh, rivulets flowing into that thank you good one more comment if you permit sir uh, uh, princely states were the worst bupinder singh was notorious for suppressing the akali mood maharaja bupinder singh Oh. and this sevas and thikri wala both he started the reform movement uh, in punjab there was peasants movements headed yes. by sevas and thikri wala kirti yes. kisan movement so oh. yeah. very important movement things are reverse where there was maraj statue today in patiala on the fountain chowk who have a statue of sevas and thikri wala the, this a uh, present movement in punjab mridula mukherjee has done a phd on this present movement in punjab so the akali movement awakened the punjab because they went to naba they involved a lot of jhat sikh peasantry the the dar under ke marda kha jayega aur dar khatam karta hai ek danga jala ke na so the akali movement the implication hai bhi hai ek nidar nirbhav karta marda the dar khatam karta bhame jinni marzi suppression hai te princely state which reform gani zair singh leader ban gaya na the freed court state which reform movement the so there's a lot of implication but the chairman has done very well by quoting vipin chandra of which i was not aware today i have read it but this is very nice way of sort of comparing sir one more question sir acha please please uh, one more question doctor कौन है गिनी जी सुन नहीं रहे कह रहा है अरविंद सिंह जी सुन नहीं निर्वेद नहीं 
I'm not hearing it. Who is speaking? मास्टर स्टडी इफ यू कंपेयर one who gave them punjabi subha she is condemned the most indira gandhi gave them punjabi subha am i right yeah those who created punjabi subha for their hegemony in the very first election in punjabi subha they didn't get majority those who opposed punjabi speaking state punjabi subha the jansang or bjp they opposed it so kalis had to form a government with their support look at yeah. the contradiction is those who opposed they became friends to rule the and then uh, this is my feeling i uh, may not be right or may not be accepted who benefited a particular feudal families benefited in punjab yeah. uh, this captain family or mother family earlier caro to my mind who discussed his book and 4000 people have seen that book discussion caro was a greater akali bigger akali he yeah. appointed non sikh sp in non he le point a sikh sp in non sikh area sikh dc bale bale the bhai rakhna sara jada haryana da jada thoda ki gurgaon da revenue kithe jana sikha na punjab is become a poor state haryana the younger brothers become a rich state in majhad the jungles brothers become so i think uh, uh, this is more main jive shuru kita si main jiwa te panth mare ਇਹ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਹੁਣ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਦੁਬਾਰਾ ਪੰਥ ਰਿਵਾਈਵ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਇਹ ਉਹ ਕਾ ਸਵਾਲ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਿ ਇੱਥੇ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਪਰ ਸਰ ਮੈਂ ਬੋਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਸੀ ਨਾ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦੀ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਸੂਬੇ ਦੀ ਮੰਗ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਨਾਟ ਡਿਮਾਂਡ ਆਫ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਸੂਬਾ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਡਿਮਾਂਡ ਆਫ ਸਿੱਖ ਸੂਬਾ ਉਹ ਮੈਂ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਵੋਟਾਂ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਸੀ ਇੱਕ ਸੂਬੇ ਨੂੰ ਛੋਟਾ ਕਰ ਲਿਆ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਮਾਇਨੋਰਟੀ ਹੋ ਜਾਏ ਹੋਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਈ ਉਹ ਬਾਅਦ ਦੀਆਂ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਬਟ ਯੂ ਵਾਸ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਥਿਸ ਥਿੰਗ ਫਾਰ ਓਨਲੀ ਓਨਲੀ ਫੋਰ ਟੂ ਗੈਟ ਅ ਮਾਇਨੋਰਟੀ ਅਬ ਸਿੱਖ ਮਜੋਰਟੀ ਸੂਬਾ ਨਾਟ ਨਾਟ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਸੂਬਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਪੰਜਾਬੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਗਨੋਰ ਕੀਤਾ ਆ ਬੜੇ ਔਖੇ ਸਵਾਲ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਮਤਲਬ ਆ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਮਾਮਾ ਜੀ ਨੂੰ ਪੁੱਛਿਆ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਪਟਿਆਲੇ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਪਹੁੰਚ ਗਏ ਉਹ ਜਵਾਬ ਸੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਪੰਜਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਇਕੱਠੇ ਹੋਏ ਰਿਵਿਊ ਜੀ ਸਾਰੇ ਜੀ ਰੇਡੀਓ ਤੇ ਹਰਦੀਪ ਸਿੰਘ ਮਾਲਕ ਸੀ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਮ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰ ਮਹਾਰਾਜਾ ਪਟਿਆਲਾ ਉਹਨ ਕਿਹਾ ਜੇ ਪਟਿਆਲੇ ਆਓਗੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਰਹਿਣ ਦੀ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਮਿਲੇਗੀ ਲੰਗਰ ਮਿਲੇਗਾ ਜਵਾਬ ਮਿਲਣਗੇ ਆਈਡੀਆ ਕੀ ਸੀ ਸਿੱਖ ਸਾਰੇ ਪਟਿਆਲੇ ਮੈਜੋਰਟੀ ਹੋ ਜਾਣ ਹੋਗੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਸਟੇਟਾਂ ਇਕੱਠੀਆਂ ਕਰਕੇ ਪੈਪਸੂ ਬਣ ਗਿਆ ਪੈਪਸੂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਹੀ ਪਟਿਆਲਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਮੀਡੀਅਮ ਜ਼ੋਨ ਰੀ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਦੀ ਪਾਸ਼ਾ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਸੀਗੀ ਮਰਦ ਦੇ ਰਾਜ ਵਿੱਚ ਅੱਛਾ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਨਾਨ ਸਿੱਖ ਸੋ ਵੀ ਪਗੜੀ ਪਾਉਂਦੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਦਾ ਕਰਚਰ ਮੰਨਿਆ ਸੀ ਨਾ ਸਿੱਖ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਨਾ ਹਿੰਦੂ ਨਾ ਮੁਸਲਮਾਨ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਵਸਦਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਤੇ ਹਿੰਦੂ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਨਾਲ ਗੁਰੂ ਨੂੰ ਸੈਲੀਬ੍ਰੇਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਤੋੜਿਆ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਤੋੜਿਆ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਵਿੱਚ ਮਿਲਾ ਕੇ ਫਿਰ ਆਈ ਡੋਨਟ ਨੋ ਇਹ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਿਕਟ ਸਵਾਲ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਲੈਕਚਰ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਹੈ ਚਲੋ ਸਮੇਂ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਕਿ ਬਹੁਤ ਕੁਝ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਹਿ ਸਕਿਆ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਸਰ ਖੈਰ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਰਿਹਾ ਤੁਹ
ਜਿਤਿੰਦਰ ਵੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਕੁਝ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਟਿੱਪਣੀ ਕਰਨੀ ਚਾਹੋਗੇ ਹੁਣ ਲਾਸਟ ਤੇ ਨੋ ਆਈ ਵੁੱਡ ਓਨਲੀ ਐਕਸਪ੍ਰੈਸ ਮਾਈ ਗ੍ਰੈਟੀਟਿਊਡ ਟੂ ਯੋਰ ਪਾਰਟਿਸਿਪੇਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਮਹਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਬ੍ਰਿਲੀਅੰਟ ਲੈਕਚਰ as he has mentioned that uh, he has focused on this one of the important streams that is akali movement and its contribution to the national freedom struggle and uh, he has done uh, uh, this uh, minor uh, research on this field and uh, he also brings out this point very well that uh, this became a movement of punjab peasantry sikh peasantry and also yeah. other sections of society and uh, from that angle uh, he has been successful in uh, projecting his uh, point of view and uh, uh, the contribution of akali movement in that struggle there was a symbiotic relationship between the mainstream and uh, akali movement uh, because of course such a voluminous uh, uh, subject cannot be uh some dust in one hour but he has done a brilliant job and uh, on behalf of uh, national institute of punjab studies and pai ji singh sahte sadan uh, we may record our deep appreciation and deep gratitude to dr minder singh ji for this brilliant lecture and uh, of course our dialogue always continues that <laughs> sir offline and that is sometimes uh, much more enlightening <laughs> for us and uh, with these words i also express my deep thanks to dr veel singh ji for uh, very uh, pleasantly conducting this uh, uh, session so with these i uh, we may uh, by uh, over to dr veel singh thanks sir tar tar da bhi bahut bahut dhanwad ji lot of thanks to you to see na sabha kadya and you are you are ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪ ਇਨਾ ਪੜਿਆ ਤੇ ਪੜ ਕੇ ਆਏ ਹੋ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਕੋਟਿੰਗ ਬਿਪਨ ਚੰਦਰਾ ਜੀ ਨੋ ਇਨ ਫੈਕਟ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਇਟ 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 ਗਿਵਸ ਮੀ ਟ੍ਰੈਮੈਂਡਸ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਡ ਵੈਨ ਆਈ ਰੀਡ ਸਾਈਟੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ देयर ਕਾਂਟ ਬੀ ਏ ਗ੍ਰੇਟਰ ਟ੍ਰਿਬਿਊਟ ਟੂ ਏ ਰਾਈਟਰ ਦੈਨ ਹਿਸ ਰੈਫਰੈਂਸ ਇਜ਼ ਇਨ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਸੈਮੀਨਲ ਵਰਕਸ ਔਨ ਫ੍ਰੀਡਮ ਸਟਰਗਲ ਬਾਈ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਪ੍ਰੋਫੈਸਰ ਬਿਪਨ ਚੰਦਰ ਐਂਡ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਸਾਹਿਬਸ ਵਰਕ ਕਾਰ ਪ੍ਰੋਫਿਊਸਲੀ ਕੋਟਡ ਇਨ ਦੈਟ ਆਫ ਕੋਰਸ ਆਈ ਰੈਡ ਇਸ ਬੁੱਕ ਆਲਸੋ चेयरमैन फॉर इज बींग वेरी वेरी indulgent and i thank the audience who had patiently listened to my talk thank you thank you sir thank good you. luck and all the best for your future endeavors thank you thank you sir